Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Simi Sola and I am a Nigeria YouTuber. I talk about faith, lifestyle, self-development and everything in between. So today's video is about PTSD, the causes, the symptoms and how to prevent it. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment for me. This will work. Encourage me to do more videos like this. So let's continue. The first thing you need to know is what is PTSD. PTSD is a post-traumatic stress disorder. And it is caused by, you know, triggered events that has happened or is happening. When I mean triggered event, I mean maybe a flashback, a memory, anxiety, depression. And some of these traumatic events that can trigger PTSD is, you know, um, combat. Maybe this is common, common among soldiers. You know, when soldiers go to war, you know, the loss of life and the fight and everything. Child abuse, you know, sexual harassment, rape. This accident, robbery, kidnapping, you know, most of all these bad things can actually lead to PTSD. I know having stress, you being stressed out, you having traumatic events is not like a death sentence. It's actually normal to actually have traumatic events, but it is now how you go about it that will now know if it will lead to PTSD or if you get over it. You having traumatic events. You having some traumatic event, you know, with self care and with time, you can get over it. But when you start those traumatic events is reoccurring for months, for years, then you have PTSD and you need to well, start taking care of yourself. And I'm telling you symptoms on how to know if you have PTSD. That's post traumatic stress disorder. So the number one thing is back. You have been you living in the moment, even though it has happened before, but it looks as if you are still reliving in that issue. You have been dreamed, unwanted dreams that keeps you awake all night long. That is stress. You know, you always have mood swing, your mood is always changing every time. One minute you are happy, the next minute you are sad. That is the symptom that you always you have PTSD and you need to watch look for care go to therapy the second thing is number two is avoidance avoidance of, avoidance of those people around you you always avoid your friends you always avoid you know being in a group of people this will PTSD can affect your life it can affect your daily activities it can affect your work it can affect everything about you it can affect your relationship with people so the earlier you you know realize that by you know avoiding the issue is going to like maybe avoiding the issue is going to like stop the, the memories from coming back no you avoiding it the mem the memories keeps coming back coming back coming back you know people that have been avoiding it it does not help you avoiding it does not help so the earlier you, you know go for care you go you seek therapy the earlier the better thinking you always having negative thinking towards yourself. You having negative thinking towards other people about the world. You see this world as a wicked place. You don't see any good thing in people. You don't see any good thing in the world. You don't see any good thing in yourself. You are always like, you know, you're always, I would like, I would like to say, you're always on guard. You always think that every minute something bad is going to happen. You always think that every second maybe. Yeah, what happened to you before is going to happen if they you know maintain a relationship you do not have friends you don't even know how to you know get closer to people you don't have to approach people that is a sign a big sign you need to look out for detached from your friends feeling detached from your family and lack of interest in activities you don't even want to participate in anything at all you just want to be left alone you always want to be alone all the time you don't see any usefulness in talking to people you don't see any usefulness in being around people it's a sign you have pity healthy and the number four the change in physical and mental reaction how you react to people how you react to men how you react when something is happening is a sign 
easily get scared you get scared easily you get fighting easily you have trouble sleeping you have trouble concentrating maybe in class in your work you are always off you know you this is where you know excess drinking occurs this is where excess when you eat in excess this is what causes it you drinking too much use of drug always getting high you're always feeling guilty you are you're always feeling you know as if you're always feeling feeling of shame you, you, you always feel like shameful this is a sign that you have ptsd ptsd can increase the rate at which you have other mental disorder like depression mental health disorder like depression anxiety you know suicidal thoughts which is always which is i think that one is really common amongst people that have ptsd Thought of suicide is common. That's why some people that actually kill just kill themselves it's not because maybe they don't have money. Things are not working for them. Just the memories of what has happened, be what has happened to them, and just keep coming, coming, coming. And the only thing they can think about is suicide. That's another thing that can uh, usage of alcohol and of drug, and you know eating disorder, eating disorder comes up that's when people begin to hard unnecessary weight and it can affect their life it can affect everything about them this is where low self-esteem occurs i'll do to think about low self-esteem later on and how to prevent pity the earlier the better you know once you see that you 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 know you have a traumatic event something bad happened to you maybe when you were small something that you know is disturbing you that is not giving you peace of mind the earlier you know you walk towards it the earlier you just try and talk to someone talk try and talk to your family your friend trusted family and friends the one that will listen to you the one that will not judge you so important Talk to someone that will not judge you, someone that will not leak out your secrets, someone that you can trust, so that it will not lead to what PTSD. Go to therapy. So if you feel if I go for counseling, then is my issue has gone uh, out of hand. No, you going to therapy means you want to be a better person. And you know, go out, go out. Don't always stay indoor. You know, an idle person in the devil's workshop. Try to go out, meet people, do something you love doing. Yes, and exercise. You need to exercise. You need to, you know, be in good shape, in good mental health. And, you know, try and meet people that are also feeling the way you are feeling. Try and meet people that, you know, are also experiencing what you are experiencing so that you can work mind together and be better people together. Just try it to surely work and I hope you guys like this video if you want to see more of this video how to improve your mental health how to be a better person increasing your you know, pussy your self-esteem don't forget to leave a comment for me I would really appreciate it please don't forget to subscribe like share and remember Jesus loves you is coming soon see you guys in my next video bye